Meanwhile, the interim president of Harvard University is condemning what he calls, quote, a flagrant, flagrantly anti-Semitic cartoon, which was shared on social media by two pro-Palestine Palestine student groups and even a faculty group last week. We're not going to show it here, but the drawing depicts a black man and an Arab man with nooses around their necks, which are being held by a hand imprinted with the Star of David on it with a dollar sign in the middle. The drawing prompted backlash from many anti-hate groups and even some members of Congress. Let's bring it right now the CEO of the Anti-Defamation League, Jonathan Greenblatt. Earlier this week, the ADL released its oh. 2023 report on murder and extremism in the United States. Jonathan, I just, I, I want to focus on colleges right now. I, it is, you know, we can, we can blame it on TikTok. We can blame it on, on extreme left-wing presidents. Whatever it is, the hatred for Jews on American college campuses, especially elite college campuses, has skyrocketed and incidences of anti-Semitism have shot up 900 percent in the last year. There is so much hate for Jews on college campus. I hear about it every day. Jonathan, when are administrators going to take charge? Yeah, it's really pretty stunning, Joe. I mean, here today, after having spent last night at Brown University in Providence, Rhode Island. Brown is an Ivy League school, one of the most prestigious uh, universities in the United States. And I was invited to give a talk to bring the whole community together. And I started my talk, and uh, about halfway through, literally, Joe, Mika, half the audience, without provocation, I didn't say anything sort of hostile, literally stood up and walked out. Now, mind you, they had reserved those mm. seats. They had taken those seats from other students who wanted to hear me. It's a kind of heckler's veto where they will try to stop my speech and prevent others from hearing. Mm. If they had stuck around, of course, they would have heard me say that we're opposed to anti-Semitism and anti-Muslim hate. They would have heard me say, we need a two-state solution. They would have heard me deplore the shooting of a Palestinian-American student in Vermont last December. But here's the thing, and I've, it's happened to me at Vanderbilt. It's happened to me at Texas Christian. It's happened to me now at Brown. The level of animus directed against Jewish speakers, the level of hatred directed at people who support the state of Israel is through the roof. I mean, look at these numbers. Imagine if we're another group of people, if it were black students or LGBTQ students who'd been targeted and the increase had gone up 900%. I mean, this isn't normal. And as you're showing in this graphic, the 900% increase against college, Jewish college students is against a broader backdrop where anti-Semitism is not just rising, it's intensifying. And to hear Jewish students tell me that they are changing their names in their Uber profiles because they are afraid of the driver's understanding that they're Jews, or they're hiding their Jewish stars around their neck, or they're taking them of dirt. Think about this. In an era where we celebrate diversity, Jews are hiding in the closet. They're retreating into the shadows. That is unacceptable by any standard. It's not just anti-Semitic, it's anti-American to deny and to denigrate people based on their ethnicity or faith. So Jonathan, the ADL released its 2023 murder and extremism report earlier this week. Disturbing findings, briefly walk us through some of them. Yeah, I mean, so the ADL tracks extremist-related murders, and as we saw in 23, and as we see each and every year for the last two decades, the overwhelming number of the 23 murders that were committed were perpetrated by right-wing extremists. And it just reminds us, whether it's right-wing extremists or hardened anti-Zionists from the left, extremism is a threat to all of us. Whether it's harassment or violence, none of it should be acceptable. And again, I don't think it's a Jewish issue. You just showed the pictures right on January the 6th. Extremists, wherever they come from, are a threat to democracy, they're a threat to pluralism, and they're a threat to all of us. And that is how we end the week here on Morning Joe. CEO of the Anti-Defamation League, thank Jonathan Greenblatt, thank you. Thank very, you so much. much.